Hey everyone and welcome to Live Chat University. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Google Analytics integration, how to let Live Chat know which code to use if you are using several different versions of the Google Analytics code, and how to upgrade your Universal Analytics integration to GA4. Let's do this. Using our Google Analytics integration, you can easily collect live chat related data and log it in on your Google Analytics account. So it allows you to collect data like the number of chats or displayed greetings. Live chat will not only collect the data automatically, but also store them in your Google Analytics account. It's seamless. There's no need to configure anything or dabble in advanced configuration. For example, Live chat already comes with tons of ways to collect customer data. The pre-chat survey collects contact details, chat transcripts give powerful sales insights, and the post-chat survey can be used to gather feedback. But is it really worth integrating live chat with Google Analytics? Well, let me give you a few examples of why it is. You can understand the customer experience starting from the moment they visit your website. It provides a comprehensive view of user actions on your website. As soon as your website visitor opens your site, you can track their every click, which helps with tailoring a more personalized customer experience. Google Analytics lets you identify which chat interactions lead to conversions, allowing for targeted follow-ups or customized offers based on specific customer interactions. Interactions. You can also monitor your website visitors as they browse your site and analyze traffic patterns better. Linking live chat with Google Analytics enables you to get much more powerful insights regarding your sales funnel. For example, our customers in the e-commerce industry use Google Analytics to predict the unpredictable. You see, Google Analytics already tracks a wide range of information about every single website visitor, like which pages they visit and how long they spend on each page. You can even configure it to track activity within a page, such as scroll depth or clicking on elements within a page, like images and so on. So you can leverage this data to see visitors' most common activities before abandoning. After that, go into your traffic section in the Live Chat Agent app and start checking out how long your customers have been on your site, where they came from, what device they are on, and so much more. Then you can simply start a proactive chat with them. You can even try using GA4 AI to track these traffic patterns automatically. Now, the last thing I want to mention before we get into the setup is how the integration works with GA events. So the live chat and Google Analytics integration is based on GA events. When a visitor performs an action related to an interaction with live chat, the data is pushed to your Google Analytics account via the Analytics JavaScript. Now the events are passed with the category, action, and label attributes, each corresponding to different information. The integration can collect information like automated greeting every time a visitor is sent a greeting or rich greeting button clicked, when a visitor clicks a rich greeting button, or pre-chat survey filled in, when the pre-chat form is submitted, uh, chats, when the chat starts, and post-chat survey filled in, when the post-chat survey is submitted. Now the integration doesn't collect any personal data of the visitor. Right, let's set it up. Open up your live chat agent app, and the first thing that you wanna do is go into billing, and you want to make sure that your payment details are filled in there. Then you want to go to the marketplace and you want to find Google Analytics. Then you want to add to cart, view cart, and go to checkout. Confirm purchase. And that's it. From now on, all the information I mentioned will be tracked in your Google Analytics as events. Now, don't worry if you don't see the data coming in immediately. The integration can take up to 24 hours to start logging the first events on your Google Analytics account. If you are using several different versions of the Google Analytics code, you can let Live Chat know which version to use for the integration. Now, you can do that by adding the following parameter to your Live Chat tracking code. Window, da 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 da. Depending on which instance of the code you want to track, you can use the following values for the parameter, GTM, GTAG. Uh, 
So Google Tag Manager or Global Site Tag. Now, after selecting the values to track, place the additional piece of code in your live chat tracking code under your license number. Here's an example of the live chat tracking code with the additional parameter added. I'll leave this code in the description for you, so feel free to copy it and use it on your own website. Just remember to replace the X's with your own license number. Both your code and your license number can be found in settings, channel, website. You can copy the code there. Now, if you're wondering how to update your Universal Analytics integration to GA4, then keep watching. As we know, Google has replaced Universal Analytics with Google Analytics version 4. Now, in order to keep the live chat and Google Analytics integration going, you need to make adjustments to your GA4 settings. So first of all, you want to make sure that you have your Google Analytics integration set up with GTM. I'll leave a link in the description to an article on integrating Google Tag Manager with Google Analytics. Once you have it set up, log in to your Google Analytics for account, find admin, then select custom definitions and create custom dimension. Then you want to fill in the required fields. So for dimension name, we want to input event action. For scope, we want to leave event. Um, for description, we want to leave it empty and event parameter. Once again, event action and select save to finish the setup. Then we want to create two more dimensions. So create custom dimension. And for the first one, we want to replace event action with event category. Scope event, description empty and event category. And click save. Now for the last one, we want to replace event action with event label. Scope event, description empty, and once again, event label. And click save. And that's it. In around 48 hours, the Google Analytics integration will start displaying data correctly in your brand new Google Analytics 4. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or go to livechat.com and start a chat with us. Thank you and see you soon.